Hello and welcome to another beer review with the Beard Man. Today I have a beer from Vault City, so you can probably guess it is going to be a sour. And this is the quite famous Iron Brew Sour. Iron Brew. Yeah, Iron Brew, I won't deny or lie, is one of my... I don't really drink pop these days, I just drink water, tea, coffee and beer, really. Um, but if I do have a cheeky kind of pop or something, it's usually Iron Brew, maybe Dr Pepper, um, depending on how I feel, or Fanta, to be fair, I quite like Fanta. But uh, I love Iron Brew, and even when I was a kid, I used to love the the chew bars, the sour chew bars, like the little crystals of sourness in there. I, I'm a massive Iron Brew fan. Sadly, I will say this is the original Iron Brew Sour. I've had it for quite a while, to be honest with you, uh, because I haven't really been into my sour beers as much, and if I have, I've really wanted fruit gush ones, just concentrating, just complete fruit. But uh, they do even a, a bigger version of this. I can't remember the ABV. I haven't I'm even got a can yet, but I will do. Um, I think it's about 8% version of this, which is sounds pretty good to me, <laughs> the higher the alcohol, hopefully the better it is. But yeah, I've had this beer... I had the first time in bottle. I think I had to get it, and it was actually better the second time round. But I never had the can, which I just really, really intrigued by. Uh, but uh, yeah, after all that waffling of how much I love Iron Brew, if they fancy sponsoring me, just send us a few chew bars out here, and you know, I'm, your, I'm your lap dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so close to look at the beer. Um, I will say, what I will say is, I remember this looking a lot better darker, a lot more like a traditional iron brew colour, more of a dark saturated orange. This actually looks like a, kind of a, a normal IPA to be honest in terms of colour. Um, so yeah, I think they've tweaked it a little bit. Um, but I will say, I, I get the smell, it does smell like iron brew. So yeah, let's go to Sniff A. Love iron brew. I love iron brew. Even like when I, I I used to go clubbing and stuff when I was a bit younger. I ain't brew WKD all the way. That, the blue and the cheeky Vemto. I used to drink beer when I was out about when to, in, into towns and stuff because the beer was always shocking. But you can never trust what's actually in there. But, uh, yeah, that is just... You know, I mean, the, the thing is with this beer, I can't really say much more about the rear and the taste as long as it tastes like iron brew and smells like iron brew. At least it's done a good job, hasn't it? Do you want to get a bit decadent notes off this? Oh, it's just iron brew. And it's it's nailed. It's absolutely nailed. I'm, I'll be honest with you, this might be the best smelling one out of the, out of the three other previous attempts I've had at this. Um, it smells really, really close to an iron brew. This is more of a... You can tell it's not iron brew, but you can tell it's bloody well made to be close as... I would be quite intrigued if Vault City have actually spoke to Bar, is it, to make uh, iron brew? If you've actually kind of asked them, you know, give us a, a little cheeky sneak sneak at the uh, secret ingredients, um, because it's super close and being Scottish and yeah, it's one of the best fucking products Scotland do. And I love his fucking, I love everything about Scotland, but I love Iron Brew. But uh, let's go to taste day. Cheers. It's out here, bro. Um, like, like the other two versions, it's like, oh, I want to taste iron brew, but then it's not iron brew fucking sour, is it? It's not the same. It's a beer. Um, yeah, it is, it is just like iron brew. The sourness is just nice. It makes your cheeks move, which is good, but not nothing too strenuous. It's really crisp and clean. Um, it seems to be a lot easier to drink this one, to be honest with you. And I will say, I think this is possibly the closest to kinds of iron brew out of the, the bottles I had in this. This is the closest one. Super intrigued to try the uh, the stronger version. Does Is that more like uh, the traditional, original iron brew, which is like super strong, super intense? I need to try that because I'd be bloody a travesty if I don't try that. The pretty bloody art as well. <laughs> but who if I can get some? I, it's weird with these. I, I can't always miss out on a lot of old city stuff just because I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't know, but I tend to get them in the end eventually. 
But yeah, this beer, what can I say? Do you like iron beer? Then you'll like this. Are you Scottish? Then you'll like this. <laughs> Do you like battered uh, pizza? You'll like this. Yeah, if it's if you like iron brew, this is definitely more street. If you like a bit of a sourness as well, I think you'll enjoy this. But you've got to like iron brew. If you don't like iron brew, just steer clear. If you don't like iron brew, you're a bit weird to be honest, in my opinion. But um, yeah, rating is a child is a big fat child. It's it's a million out of one. <laughs> but uh, it's a sour beer. Um, as a sour beer goes, it's it's not the best. It's definitely not the best from Full City what they do, but there's something lovable about it because it's iron brew. You know, it's I love it. I just love it because it's iron brew. And this is probably the best one I've had of this. Of this, you know, this is the best version of it. Sourness is there, but it's not too strong. Um, I love it personally, but. It's probably about a four, to be honest with you, you know, but uh, personally for me, it's probably a 4.25, 4 4.3333 eternity. But as a beer itself and taking away the emotional aspect, it's probably a four. But for me, it's, I love it. I, I can't say anymore. If you love Iron Brew, you're going to love it. And that's the end of it, really. Pointless rating. If it's an Iron Brew racing, it's a five out of five. So get on it if you like Iron Brew. Hey, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you like Iron Brew so you can actually watch this bloody review. And I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.